everything is really genetics. That's just like saying peaches come from peach trees. Of course, peaches come from peach trees. Of course, we are products of our DNA. That dictates our genetic plan, but not everything in our genetic plan is always expressed. And there's also this concept of epigenetics. There's a lot of good books on that. James Nestor and his book Breath goes over that. And I'd highly recommend you taking a look at that. But the human head and jaw structure has been shrinking for a long period of time. The forces that are driving that is progressively, generation after generation, humans have been eating softer foods. It's a well-established fact that pressure on bone is what stimulates it to grow. Humans have been eating softer foods from one generation to the next. We used to eat a lot of raw, hard foods, meats, nuts, like really hard things. That pressure would stimulate the bone and the structures in our face to grow larger and stronger. And now we're more of like a macaroni and cheese and applesauce generation. What's occurred, we've been passing these smaller jaws and facial structures onto our kids. Not only are the jaws getting smaller, the muscles and fascial attachments that connect our muscles to our jaw and facial structure are getting shorter and tighter. And that's really what these ties are. When the tongue is more tightly attached to the lower jaw, it's not putting quite as much outward pressure. The lips and cheek muscles, which are operated on the outer part of the face, are more restrictive to outward growth. These are the environmental factors that are causing less expression of our DNA, which is causing us to have these problems. How this plays into gummy smile, gummy smile is related to forward growth and maintenance of the tongue up on the palate. When the tongue is tied down to the lower jaw, it's not like getting up onto the palate. It's not stimulating forward growth, holding that palate up. What occurs is we don't get as much forward growth. Since the tongue isn't holding the palate up, we experience minimal forward growth and a lot of like downward growth of the upper jaw. When the upper jaw swings down, you see a lot more of the gum tissue. That is what causes a gummy smile. And that's what the link is between genetics and environmental expression for this condition.